So welcome you all to this webinar, the first one from a series of webinars on the second generation of Eurocode 8. This series of webinars is organized by the European Association of Earthquake Engineering through its working group 12 for continuing education and professional development. My name is Rita Vento, coordinator of working group 12. I'm now delighted to invite the president of Earthquake Association of Earthquake Engineering, Professor Kiriasis Pitilakis. Thank you very much, Rita. On behalf of the association, I am really very glad to welcome this new and very important activity of our association, which uh, besides the main uh, activity, which is the uh, conference that we are organizing every four years, and the next one will be in Bucharest, next September and other regional seminars. This is a new series of activities which we believe that it is very important and it will be very fruitful for the engineering community. It has been uh, accomplished, as you will see, with the active uh, participation of many people who have uh, contributed in the uh, progress and the development of the new, uh, let's say, uh, version of Eurocode 8, after almost uh, 20 years, which is uh, 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 the present one. And we believe that it is the time, it is believed uh, that it is the time to make the next step to uh, a serious progress in the development of the, of the seismic uh, uh, design in Europe. And I would say also worldwide because Eurocodes are, uh, are used not only in Europe. Uh, I, I just want to thank all these people that have uh, contributed in the development of this uh, e extraordinary work regarding Eurocodes and the Eurocode 8. Uh, all the coordinators of the different uh, committees, in particular the, co the main uh, uh, coordinator, which is uh, Professor Philip Bish, who is going to uh, make the first uh, talk. And of course, Rita Bento and uh, his colleagues in the working group that has been in charge of this uh, organization. And there will be other, other webinars as well, as you will see later on. And we believe that with this, our association will contribute in, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the best way in order to uh, make our engineering community regarding uh, the seismic uh, um, design at the first level, at the international level. Thank you very much. It's now my privilege to welcome the chairman of Submission 8, Eurocode 8, of Turtle Eurocodes of the European Standardization Committee, Professor Philip Pitch. Okay, thank you, Rita. Uh, good morning, everybody. So the work on Eurocode is uh, in TC250, which is a technical committee in, uh, in SEN, and it's uh, subcommittee eight in charge of drafting the new code eight uh, has very strong links with the, Europe, uh, the European Association, since there are many people working in both entities. I see it meetings also are always open to communication from the EA. The European Association has a working group that thinks about future developments of your code eight. That is to say for the third generation, so the next one, it is obviously very useful. On the other hand, the association is best placed for the dissemination of knowledge in our field and this is what uh, the association is doing now. Also your code eight is a design code only. So primarily for use by design engineers, it is clear that its current evolution is largely due to recent advances in earthquake engineering. For the seismic situation, there is therefore a very strong link between standardization and scientific knowledge. But the two aspects remain different as it is not the same to, to stick to improve and disseminate scientific knowledge and to implement it in the design of structures. This is why the work of the two groups is both necessary and uh, complementary. Um, okay, 
So these uh, joint members are particularly sensitive to their dual role because, uh, of course, as I said, it's very important to, 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 bear, to work in both uh, aspects, scientific and uh, design. Personally, I can only be delighted with this uh, close link because although I am currently the, the chairman of SC8, I cannot forget that I was president of the association 20 years ago, long time now. <laughs> so you will follow a cycle of webinars presenting ever over time because there are, will be a lot of uh, webinars uh, organized by the association. All the parts of the new York date. Uh, at this stage today, the texts have not been uh, submitted to the public inquiry. So there is still time for they are uh, definitively adopted and therefore applicable in the member states. Nevertheless, the main orientations of the standards are known and they reflect the progress that I wanted to, 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 to talk about and I will present in the in my present, next presentation. At this stage, it is not essential to know all the details of the verifications, which for some of them may still change, but to understand the concepts underlying the improvements and additions made since the first generation. There is no break in continuity, in fact, between the two generations, but significant progress on many aspects and new developments. I therefore trust that you will profit from following the explanation provided during this webinar by those experts directly involved in these developments. So thank you and uh, have a good webinar. Okay, so <clears throat> the second generation of error code 8 it, um, is divided into five different parts. In each part, uh, each one will host a different webinar. In addition to providing a general overview of the final drafts of all parts of the new Eurocode 8. These webinars on Eurocode 8 of second generation will discuss the changes and the innovations being adopted in them. So beyond today's webinar coordinated by professors Pierre Labie and Attila Ansal, we will have, um, we'll have a webinar devoted to rules to buildings coordinated by Professor André Pugmi and Professor Adu Vacarano. Professors Andre, uh, Andres Capus and I will coordinate the webinar three on assessing and retrofitting buildings and bridges. Webinar four is related to silos, tanks, pipelines, towers, masts, and chimneys, and will be coordinated by Professor Christoph Buttenweg and Professor Fabricio Palacci. And finally, Professor Alan Pecker and um, Professor Kriasis Pitilakis will be the coordinators of webinar five on geotechnics, which in fact will be the next webinar to be organized in the near future. So you all are invited to visit the, the website for further information and news, which will be uploaded soon just after this webinar. So regarding this uh, webinar, we start with Professor Philip Pisch, who will talk about organization and concepts of Air Code 8. You'll be followed by Professor Pierre Labi, who focuses on seismic action. Then we move to modeling, analysis, and verification rules with Professor Maciej Dolcek, and focusing on the nonlinear static analysis. And finally, Professor Amadeu Benavent Klimat will talk about the use of anti seismic devices. So, over 300 registered for this webinar, surpassing the maximum number of registration support by the system. Thus, not all could attend this webinar. Nevertheless, as all webinars will be recorded, and available to everyone, anyone interested could have access to the webinar remotely. So as it is evident from this slide, most of the participants are from Europe as expected, but we have many attendees from countries outside of Europe. 
from, from all the registration, we have about 30% members of European Association of Earthquake Engineering, including individual members, subscribing members, or even participants nominate from the national associations of earthquake engineering. The webinar will be shared by two members of working group 12 of European Association of Earthquake Engineering, Professor Luca Pella from Technical University of Catalonia, Spain, and Professor Ricardo Monteiro from the University School of Advanced Studies, IUSS Pavia in Italy. Finally, I'd like to list the main recommendations for Q&A sessions of the webinar. Of course, the shares will highlight again the rules, but I'd like to say that we have um, a 15 minute uh, Q&A session, we, which will follow each speaker moderated by the session shares. When the presentation is finished, the session shares opens the Q&A session and select raised questions to the speaker by Zoom chat. The participants in the Q&A session should identify themselves. Please write your name, organization, and your question on the chat. So on behalf of the organized committee, I warmly thank the contributors. Of course, a special thanks to the webinar speakers and hope this first webinar will offer useful information and productive uh, discussions. Thank you for joining us. Um, we have Professor Andres Capus would like to, 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 to say some words. Just as, yeah, just as much, I don't want to, to say anything else. Uh, you have covered everything. Just to mention that I think in the list that you have shown, I didn't see the bridge um, uh, webinar. I think there will be one on part two uh, on um, the bridges as well, right? Okay, it's true. Which is, which is um, uh, coordinated by Paolo Franklin. And, um, exactly. I really apologize by, 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 by this. <laughs> I missed the error code uh, related with part two. Okay. This information, all this information are available in the website about the, the type, the, the, the following webinars. Anyway, every uh, new will be updated uh, in the website. Thank you for your comment. So, with that said, I'd like to close the opening session. The first webinar on general rules and seismic action will start immediately uh, or in a few minutes. I think we are about in time. So enjoy and please participate. <laughs>